In tonight's breaking bond, we found a dozen defendants charged with unlawfully possessing a machine gun and then granted a PR or personal recognizance bond. Fox 26's Randy Wallace here in studio with us. He has the latest in his ongoing series. Yeah, Jonathan, having a machine gun and not registering it with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is a felony crime. A machine gun to me is kind of serious. I mean, who goes around carrying a machine gun? Criminals are the first to come to mind. While combing through court records, we discovered 12 defendants charged with possession of a prohibited weapon, a machine gun. They were all released from jail on PR bonds or get out of jail free cards. That is not only dangerous for the citizens, it's dangerous for the officers that make the arrest. It's dangerous for a lot of people, especially a PR bond for carrying around a machine gun. He's only 17 and John Famba was free from jail on six bonds when he got charged with possessing a machine gun. Because Famba was out on six bonds in three different counties, Brazos County, McLennan County, and Chambers County. Famba even made headlines in College Station for allegedly stealing catalytic converters. And how do you grant a PR bond for someone with six charges five of them felonies. But that's exactly what happened when Famba landed in Harris County's 174th District Court. A visiting judge gave him a PR bond for the felony charge, possession of a prohibited weapon, a machine gun. That's hard to believe. Uh, multiple arrests you showed me out of several counties, and then he's given a PR bond here in Harris County for having a machine gun. And then he forfeits his bond. So and then he was gone for a couple months, and I'm like, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Luckily, uh, somebody, you know, picked him up on a bond forfeiture, and he actually remains in county jail. Senate Bill 1318, which would prohibit judges from granting PR bonds to defendants charged with felon in possession of a weapon, has passed the Senate and heads to the House. Email your thoughts about the proposed new law to your state representative. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.